my name is Brianna and I'm an American English teacher who's been living in Madrid for the past three years. For me, in these times that are really uncertain and when it kind of feels like all of a sudden you have lots of time and you don't know what to do with it, it's really important for me to have some structure and to have some balance. So I like to feel like I'm being productive, like I'm using my time in a way that makes sense for me. But I think a lot of people think that productive only means your career or big goals or big accomplishments and that's not how I see it. So what I do is at the beginning of the week, I make a want to do list and I divide it into work goals that I have for myself, personal goals that I have for myself and some things I want to do around the house and then just some fun things, some beauty things, some relaxing things and I put a couple of things into each section. And for me, the important part is that I'm giving priority and I'm celebrating all of the different aspects of my life. So I'm not focusing on being productive just in the workplace. I'm also celebrating when I make time for myself to do a face mask or when I make time for myself to read at night or to call friends. And so for me, it's like I feel like I'm using my time in a productive way, but I also can celebrate the little things that I'm doing. I can celebrate the self-care that I'm doing, and I can also celebrate the things that I'm accomplishing in my work life. And the nice thing about a want to do list is that if you don't get through it all, it's okay. You don't have to be upset about it. Next week, you decide these things I want to keep, these things I don't really think I need to do this week, and you keep moving forward. So it's a nice way to just celebrate the way we use our time and to really build ourselves a structure that gives us balance between work and play and relax.